Well, guys, all good things must come to an end. The magical ride that we've enjoyed this season, the phenomenal season that we've had, it must come to an end. Uh, we were hoping that we could get a little bit longer of a, of a seance out of this situation, but, of course, these things happen, man. So, <laughs> the Texans losing to the Ravens, man, 34-10. to 10. This is just one of those outcomes that I guess, you know, the reality sets in. You could expect that these things were going to occur at some point in time. We were really exposed to the truth about our offense, the truth about what the defense is, is, is uh, uh, we're putting out there on the field, and basically the truth about the longevity of the season and how we can hold up against uh, a good defensive team uh, in, in the, the, the Baltimore Ravens. And so let's go ahead and cover it, man. I apologize if I'm sounding a little disgruntled, but, you know, this is what it is, man. I hate to cover these type of topics, but, you know, when we lose, we lose. And we took an honest L this week, so, you know, it is what it is. But the Houston Texans, man, we've had uh, a great run into the playoffs. We are one and ones um and, and and our current history for the playoffs with this new rendition of the team um man like you know <laughs> what can i say man we went out there in this game against the ravens uh we saw lamar do what lamar does you know he threw for 100 and um 152 yards and he ran for another 100 yards um it was kind of disturbing that we couldn't stop lamar uh uh in any form or fashion to be honest with you um I mean, what can I say, man? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's it's still a bit of a struggle, man, to kind of sit here and accept this is the way that the season ends. But, you know, I kind of have to take it for what it is. The Texans stayed in the ball game for the first half, 10-10 uh, at the half. Uh, thanks, all due respect to Steven Sims, who was a recent acquisition, once again, brought up from the practice squad. Um, if it weren't for his, you know, punt return for a touchdown, we wouldn't even have this good of an offensive performance, to be honest with you. But I mean, let's let's be you know for all the magic that we've seen all season, you know what it, what it exposed on our end is the fact that we don't have anything beyond one running back, one wide receiver that at this point Tank being injured, one wide receiver that we can count on, and one tight end, and that is our offense outside of CJ. So CJ didn't have much to throw to. He didn't have much to work with. He was 19 of 33 passing. Uh, you know. 172 yards or so, um, five passes that he threw to uh, to each of Nico, uh, Dalton Schultz, and um, you know the running back Devin Singletary or Motor. Um, I mean that's a reflection of how this offense is basically sitting right now. I mean we don't have any security and knowing that we can have you know that we're gonna get support from any of the of the wide receivers on the on the roster man i mean robert wood had one catch uh xavier hutchison had i believe two catches uh brevin jordan no catches you know <laughs> this is one of those weeks man so you know we knew at some point in time that you know we couldn't live on those strings and and and, and you know hoping with these type of uh miracle plays and miracle outcomes that cj was providing for us we knew that this couldn't sustain for the long term but it does suck man that we you know we have to you know see the season off man we have to see it go <laughs> i hate to see it go man like this was um i keep i hate to keep using the same word over and over again but it was a it was a magical you know phenomenal season i mean we've seen a little bit of everything this season this was you know, really an incredible uh, set of circumstances that we had to deal with. I mean, think about it. Like, we had uh, early on in the season, we were 0-2, right? So, you know, you're thinking with a new turnover of the roster, new everybody, in, you know, involved, 0-2 uh, season spells demise. This is kind of what everybody was expecting the team to do for the year. And then all of a sudden, we, we flipped the switch, man. We got the win against Jacksonville where we had, you know, CJ going off and, and we had Tank going off. And then uh, we had that miracle kickoff return for a touchdown by uh, Andrew Beck. We had uh, the next week against the Steelers. We had uh, J.J., of course, getting honored at, at the half. But, you know, our defense stood up and, and held those boys down. Uh, offense went off. I think we had a 30-6 to six win. That was a dope, dope, you know, tremendously dope see uh, game that we had. 
Um, and then just kind of like throughout the season, we had a flurry of different things that happened. I mean, we had a backup, <laughs> we had a backup running back kicking a field goal. You know what I'm saying? We have, uh, you know, in this game, we have Steven Sims, you know, signed off the practice squad running a touchdown back. We had, uh, I mean, just a bevy of different, we had uh, Jimmy Ward, free agent acquisition, close out the game against the Broncos with, a, with an interception. We had Steven Nelson close out the game against the Saints with an interception. We had, I mean, I, so many moments. We had Christian Harris get coached up on the sideline by, by the head coach uh, for a perfect defensive play that was, that was run back for a touchdown. The magic, like, is endless. We, you know, uh, uh, CJ to Tank Dell against, um, uh, against the Buccaneers to close out that game, like, Game after game after game after game after game, we saw so much magic. I mean, you can even think about the game that we had about uh, uh, the game that we had with the, uh, the the Atlanta Falcons, where you know CJ hit Dalton Schultz in the end zone. If it weren't for the fact that there was a little bit of time left on the clock, we possibly could have had that game, or a game where you know our field goal kicker missed you know the field goal at the end, or the game against Cincinnati where we beat uh, you know we beat. You know, Joe Burrow and, and his squad, man, like, this has just been an incredible, and this is just all off the top of the dome, man. This has been an incredible season, man. I, I like, what can you say, man? Like, I, I've really enjoyed this ride. I'm sure a lot of you have, too. Um, you know, the camaraderie with, with fans again, being able to hop on social media and chop it up with, with folks, being able to, for me, being able to start this page and being able to post videos weekly, and, and get to engage with a bunch of you guys and watch my YouTube followers go up. Uh, being on TikTok and watching that thing blow up, like this has been incredible, man. So I hate to see this particular season end. It's not to say that, the, you know, the ride is done with. Obviously, we are in a great position with, you know, a very young team that can only get better at this point in time. I mean, you know, the numbers are, are what the numbers are as far as the, the results for the season. But as far as the actual talent that we have on the roster, it really can only get better. I mean, we have so many guys that have come in. I mean, just our, our rookies this year. I mean, all of the rookies that had so much impact on the season. I mean, you know, of course, Tank Dell. Of course, we had CJ. Of course, we had uh, Will Anderson Jr. But, you know, uh, 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 Patterson got some action. Uh, Xavier Hutchison with the action. Um, I mean, you know, we had a lot of guys that were put pushed into roles, whether they were ready or not, that, that got a lot of playing time this season. So uh, that's a tremendous, a tremendous look forward to what we might have uh, next year. Of course, we have some guys that need to do better. Uh, Henry Toto, for example, he needs to step up and do some things. But, you know, he's a rookie, man, so he's got some time to kind of get these things figured out. But then we got guys that are still very young in some contracts that are, you know, looking to do great great things for the future man and, and lo and behold whatever we have happened with the draft i mean the outcome of the draft being uh, uh a huge point of discussion for a lot of folks a lot of fans all season long because you know folks were concerned with us giving up so much for will anderson jr and you know what was going to happen with that but hey that worked out too man when we <laughs> we got a better draft position in the uh you know, than the than the the Browns and the Cardinals, man. So like this has really been one of those phenomenal seasons, man. It's just worked out magically for us. And again, I I hate to keep using the same words. I, I wish that I had more words to use at this point in time. Maybe I need to go ahead and pull up a, a thesaurus and sit it next to me or something like that. But I mean, what can you say, man? If y'all have some better words, man, feel free to hit me with them. If y'all have some better moments. Feel free to hit me with them, man, because this is just in reflection now that I have to, you know, finally have to sit with this and, and just kind of absorb this moment and absorb the magnitude of the season, man. I'm not disappointed at all, man. This is one of those things that I didn't expect. We were working with house money. Um, you know, I, I said at the beginning of the season, we get six or seven wins. I'm happy. <laughs> and here we are, you know into the playoffs, man, you know, forget what the record is for the preseason. Cause just like Dak, uh, Dak, <laughs> just like Dak shows you, man, the regular season doesn't matter. Once you make it to the playoffs, that's, that's where everything, you know, matters. But, um, 
you know, with without expectation, without all of the pressures going on, it's been, you know, it's just been tremendous, man. I mean, even with the 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 Tennessee Titans sitting here and snuffing, you know, you know, once again trying to, you know, throw the middle finger in our face by wearing the jerseys that that we used to enjoy and love so much here in town, man. Oh man, like it's just <laughs> being able to, to to mush their face and all of that stuff, man, and be able to just you know, show out and stop Derrick Henry from, you know, running, uh, you know, with any consistency like he's been doing, you know, the entirety of the time that he's played us and, you know, junk like that, man. This is, I, I'm just going to sit with this for a while, man. I'm just going to sit with this for a while. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to reflect. Um, I don't think that I'm going to shoot a video next week. I, I kind of need a, need a little bit of time off for myself, but um, you know, this has really been enjoyable, man. And so I hope that some of you guys have enjoyed the same experience. I hope that some of you guys have enjoyed the same season. Um, you know, I would like to see what was your favorite moment of the year, man. I know for me, my favorite moment of the year, let's just say it this way. I had one favorite of the moment of the year, uh, one favorite moment of the year that was off the field. Uh, but it was related to the squad. And then I had another one that pertains to on the field, off the field, um, I got the joy of being able to bring my family out to the game, man. I lost my mother a couple of years ago. Um, and so, you know, being able to bring the family together and bring them to the game and, and actually be a game where we won and, you know, get to enjoy something, you know, with the family again, that was pretty dope for me. Um, you know, I really enjoyed being able to, to put that opportunity together and the Texans were the vehicle for, for making that happen. So, um, that was a real big one for me as far as off the field is concerned. But then on the field, man, like to pick one moment, man, I probably have to go. My favorite moment was probably the one where we beat Tampa Bay, you know, with that pass at the last minute to Tank Dell from C.J. Stroud, where C.J. Stroud, you know, he turned himself around while he was doing like this and to show that he's the man, that he's capable, man. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could pick out some other ones, man. The 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 play to kick off the offensive start for uh you know the game against uh, uh the coast last I mean at the end of the season um, where you know the seventy five yard pass to Nico like you know it's so many moments man I mean golly man even for us to be down without C J for two weeks and to have to kind of you know lean on um you know our backup uh, our backup quarterbacks you know. A win and a loss, so be it. But you know, giving CJ a little bit of time to rest and try to you know put his his his, his thoughts back together. No pun intended, but to put his thoughts back together and kind of reflect back on where he can go and you know rest his body up for two weeks or whatever, man. Like <laughs> this has just been one of those times, man. So let's get you know talking about moving forward, man. We got a lot to cover moving forward, and I won't cover it in this video. I I drop a series of videos moving forward, but we definitely got to look at free agency. We definitely got to look at, you know, what are the wishes that we want for the team? You know, what are the team's angles as far as what they need to address? Uh, who's available in the free agent market? I mean, you know, we'll break that down by position. We'll try to cover as much of those things as possible. Uh, of course, if it's, <laughs> I hate doing my drafts, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I don't mess with Mel Kuyper as far as his mic draft, mic draft stuff or whatever. But at some point in time, we'll get into some mic draft stuff. Probably a little bit closer to the draft because I don't like to do this whole, you know, super early on. <laughs> it really doesn't matter type of mic draft. I like to do those type of things when it gets a little closer to the event. Um, I'm just being honest with you, man, because my theory on the mic drafts is just different than everybody else. I get that it's, it's something to cover and it's enjoyable for a lot of people, but it's not enjoyable for me at all. So I don't really do a whole lot of mic draft stuff until we get right around the corner from the draft. It's just, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot to shake out between now and then. And then, you know, um, you know, just reflections on the season and, you know, highlight videos and clips and stuff, man. So it's it's going to be a lot of work, man. But I enjoyed the season. I'm sure you guys did too. Um, by all means, man, I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you guys' uh, support. If you subscribe to, this, to, the, to the channel, I thank you. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, man, give me a like, you know, give me a follow, give me a share, whatever. Just tell somebody about it. Tell somebody about the Texans. Hey, <laughs> either way, it all helps the algorithm, man. But I appreciate you all joining in, man. And, you know, we didn't win today, man, but it's all good, man. The Texans are definitely on the, on the right way and, they, they, you know, the trajectory is going up, man. So until next time, man, Houston Texans fan of rehab, I'm out.